when you are a damn gorgeous reader and you need the perfect gorgeous deck to go with your energy, you would need the palette card. So beautiful, so gorgeous, your reading will show your past, present, and your foreseeable future with amazing colors. Get the palette deck by Sap. Hi Scorpios, welcome to my channel. We're doing your Twin Flame readings for the month of May. Um, we're gonna be using the Soulmate cards over here. And then I'm also using a very mature deck, which um, some of it uh, I will not be showing here as with regards to graphics, but in the extended, I'll show the whole picture, okay? You guys are familiar with this. It's called Tarot of Sex Magic. Okay. So let's see here. So I'm going to get the cards here for you guys. So this is for wh whoever is in the journey with their twin flame. However you want to uh, call it. All right. Let's see what's the message for you. Okay. Here's the message. Your, you, my beloved, are like a ray of golden sunshine. I breathe in your love and all my concerns melt away. And all that is left is pure joy. Thank you, my beloved soulmate. Ah, so the back. Here we go. Mm -hmm. For people who want to see it. Okay. So now, let's begin what you have for me. Okay. Let's see here. So this is something new. Well, old. I have this before. If you're an OG, I used to do every day um, the soulmate and the twin flame for each of the zodiac. I'm just bringing it back. Here we go for the Scorpios. Let's see what's going on. Okay, you have the moon. Okay, now I can't show much of the moon, but it's uh, there's someone who's basically nestled into someone's bosoms over here. Um, the moon is a mirror; it reflects. So this is a person who, what you do, they reflect. They do to you also. Then it probably is a never-ending cycle of. He said, she said, or whatever, um, uh, what do you call this? Uh, whatever your person is, okay? So I see here that there's blames between the two of you. The moon is deception. So you blame them for deceiving you. They blame you for deceiving them. And then it just keeps going in cycles. Now the moon, if I were to uh, explain to you, um, they do say that where the north node is, um, where your not node is, your Rahu is placed, the person that you're connecting with will have moon in that sign. Let's just say you have Rahu in Taurus, which is your seventh house. The person's uh, moon sign will be moon in Taurus. This creates a karmic connection. Karmic, not the whole, I'm scared, it's scary, it's karmic. It's, um, you know, because people will be scared with that word. Okay? It's like saying that they have herpes or something when I say karmic. Um, it, it only means that if it's karmic, there's past uh, past life trauma that is going to be brought here. Well, the camera glitched. Uh, it's going to be brought here. And then, you know, of course, there's a lot of karmic lessons that you will learn from this person. So, you know, this is that moon, okay? Mm -hmm. The moon is our mind also, right? And then, you know... Um, Rahu is just the head. So it, it really just shows that, you know, there's two people who got split in half because, you know, Rahu and Ketu, um, they got split in half. Um, but that doesn't make a twin, right? That makes you basically half and half. And sometimes that's why, you know, if you're connecting with someone in this kind of connection, such as Twin Flame, it's, it feels like very, very karmic. Um, there's a lot of soul part, awakening of sort that you feel. Your intuition became on point. All of a sudden, you become this spiritual person. It drives you to that part of your life that you had once before you come in. Okay, So the two of you are experiencing this. Okay, Now, the high priestess is here. I can show the high priestess. Okay, So you, Scorpio, you do magic, basically. Magic is just like any other manifestation, nothing to be scared. Uh, mm, this is just you praying, you know. This is just you uh, making, uh, you know, your journal, positive affirmations about the person. Now, with the moon and the high priestess, um, the high priestess is all about secrets. So you had a secret affair with this person. They also had someone, okay. Um, it feels like you don't know, they don't know, but there are other people involved here, 
All right. Now the high priestess is your intuition, so it only feels that um, you, Scorpios, knew that they are involved, and you were just waiting for the proof. Mm -hmm. You know it, you know, and they know also about your intentions. All right. So the high priestess here is you're continuously manifesting the person. There's a book right there, so you're probably doing astrology. You're, you're, you know, you're just trying to match, you know, your sign, their sign. You're looking at different divination, um, you know, that you can oracle, tarot, um, numerology, palmistry. I mean, it's the work. It's a divination process, okay? And you are probably um, uh, with the high priestess and the moon, you know, intuitive. Mm -hmm. You see. Um, six of Wands. Uh, there was a time where this person was chasing you. I see it here. Um, you like to be chased uh, with this twin. Okay? You wanted to show them that you have control and power over the situation. You tend to um, give them the space that you that you want. I give you this, fine, you know, just so that you're out of my way. There was a time where you got tired. The full card is another um, major arcana, which only means that this connection led you to your spiritual awakening. Because the full is the first uh, major arcana, which means in spirit, so um, number zero. So you transform yourself from, can be like, you just look at yourself two to three years before you met this person, you were totally different. The moment that you met this person, all this spiritual awakening has is happening, all right? So that's how normally strong this connection is. It's actually quite scary when you're involved in one, okay? Because the path to awakening, it's kind of scary. It's kind of scary. Because mm -hmm. there's a lot of things that you don't know. Queen of Wands. Um, as this person was chasing you before, um, you do enjoy their company. Um, I see here that you guys have shared illicit uh, pictures for each other. Yes, I would see that here. In this deck, I see a lot of a lot of things that's normally we didn't see. Okay, um, there was some. I feel like you guys have a, a mature kind of connection where, you know, the person knows your kinks. They they know how to tickle your fancy and vice versa. Um, and there was a lot of uh, flirtation between the two of you. There's a lot of uh, pushing them away so that they will come towards you, and it does drive this person crazy. The more they can't have you, the more that they want you. Um, there is a six of pentacles here. When they can't have you, they get some, you know, if they're not getting it from you, they're getting it from someone else. I see it here. Easy. This person is easy to, um, how do you say this? They're easy to just fall astray. Okay? Everything for them is a temptation. If it moves, they might hump it. Just saying. That's where the tower comes in, okay? You have a tower as always. Now, you won't see it here, but there's a person okay, who got caught. There's a lady here in a very compromising position, okay? I think it's a wheelbarrow or whatever, okay? Um, so, you caught this person uh, and there was hurt and pain on your end. You felt so betrayed. Um, the way I see it, like they were... They were Going to someone else and they do, um, you know, um, have intimate connection with them. But they don't have the same feelings as what they have when they are with you. Does it make sense? Um, they're, it's not even casual. It feels like the person is looking for a sense of meaning or void. Some people do have that with regards to um, being intimate. They, feel, they think that they can have something there. That they're getting some sort of like... Um, how do you say this? Um, you would know, right? You know, it's like there's there's people that you get intimate, there's no feeling. Da, they do that. Okay, trying to see if they have feelings for that person. Now, after that, you've turned this person down. I see it here. Okay, um, you brush them off there with the um, two of pentacles. You wanted out of the cycle. Mm -hmm. This is what happens here. Um, but then you have a six of cups. So here, clearly, you and your twin flame, you do miss them. You long for it. And then if you see, there are good memories that you are still looking. Um, and just to be honest, with the high priestess, you're Googling them. Okay? High priestess is a Google card. Um, you're researching more and more how to get, not get them back, but get around this connection. 
Because as far as you're concerned, you've actually let go with the full card. You let them be. But the full and the six of cups, you have a desire to bring this person back. Mm -hmm. It was the anger and frustration that led you to separate with them with the tower. But uh, right now, it feels like there will be a chase. Okay, with the six of cups. This is what you're having right now. Very, very intense as always, because just like any other Scorpio relationship. I'm going to continue this reading. Link down there in the description box below, Scorpio. Um, and we'll see what happens. I'll see you guys again. Bye.